point. Back live at Alamo Stadium as the scoring drive for the Judson Rockets covered 61 yards in seven plays. Right at three minutes on the clock and a three-yard touchdown run by the quarterback, Robert Felton. The time had two big plays in that ball game, one being the offsides penalty and then the fumble recovery by Judson down deep. So turnovers, you know, keys like that are going to be a big, big situation in this ball game. It will be Earl Kaufman to do the kicking off for Judson. And double receivers back deep for Holmes. Lewis Gunnels. And number 34, Tony Hawkins. Here's the kick coming to Hawkins at the goal line. Hawkins is tripped up at the 20-yard line. And a nice tackle. Made there by number 61 for the Johnson Rockets. That will be Jeff Klaus, senior backup defensive end, and the Huskies will get the ball for the second time this afternoon and start 80 yards away from the Johnson goal line. Wilbur Odom coming in this afternoon, 175 to 279. Almost 63% of his passes for over 3,000 yards this season. And almost 6,000 yards for his career at Holmes. And he will give a delay handoff to Lampkin, and Lampkin will get a yard, and that is it. Met head on by David Wojcik, the weak side linebacker, number 44. Lampkin, leading rusher on this Holmes team. We talk so much about the Holmes passing game. Lampkin has 750 yards coming into the game, averaging almost seven yards every time he touches the ball, so he's an effective rusher, to say the least. Second down and nine, a gain of one. This time they go with a no-back offense. Three wide receivers out of the top. Odom looks that way, gets a little pressure. Now he's going to run it. And he's got first down yardage and more, and a tremendous block was laid at the 30-yard line to allow him to get across the 35, out close to the 40-yard line, the first first down for the Huskies this afternoon. Oh, my, what a nice bit of running is... Odom, one thing you notice that he does, Coach Osborne, is that he does give himself time back in the pocket, but he saw the opportunity and took off here. But, John, when he came back and set up, he doesn't see anybody open, and he has to scramble, and as you'll see coming up, Kerry Cash, I believe it is, comes up and this lays a tremendous block right here to free him on down the sideline and picks up just an excellent gain. Up to the 42-yard line, first and 10 for Holmes. They'll bring the three wideouts now to the near side, and we'll have movement in the interior before the ball is snapped. Looks like we got some illegal procedure against the Huskies. That'll mark them off five yards back to their 37 and give them a first down and 15. Illegal procedure again, good signal. And we'll try first down all over again. This time, Gunnels, along with Walker, and Cash to the near side. The tight end, Mike McKenzie, out wide to the top. Odom looking that way. Check that. That is Keith Cash. And Cash had the football and dropped it. They call it an incomplete pass at the 45-yard line. And he got a tremendous hit on the part of number 40 from the Judson Rockets, that being Byron Saunders, the cornerback. Again, he's going back where he's got single recovery short. See, he catches Cash wide open on the hit. Ball pops loose. Really didn't have control of it. Just excellent defense by Judson, but an awfully good shot by Olin. No question. That was a call that could have gone either way, perhaps, as, of course, we were shielded from seeing the football, but apparently the referee on the spot said he did not have control, as you mentioned. Going to bring up second down and 15. Again, out of the middle-back offense, Odom. Across the middle, Mike McKenzie in and out of the tight end's hands at the 46-yard line. And defending on the play, Terry Phoenix making the rush. Kevin Matur on the actual defense of Mike McKenzie. Yeah, you got Walbert well, just sitting back, taking a look on who can break up a quick on the quick slants, depending on single coverage or double coverage. And then he tries to go to his tight end. That makes a good shot. Just unable to pull it down. Phoenix Matul again on the stop. It'll be third down and long, third and 15. They'll put the three wideouts to the top side now and double wideouts to the bottom. 
five receivers across the middle. Key pass has the football and has got open field. Inside the 45, down inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. A big third down conversion and a late flag is thrown after the tackle at the 38. Byron Saunders, the free safety, made the hit. And we may have more yardage stepped off against the Rockets. John, by having five receivers out, they put a tremendous strain against the defense. You can see they hit Keith Case right here in the open. I believe that's going to be a personal foul. And Saunders makes the tackle, and the late, late hit comes in from David Wojcik, number 44. As Keith Cash, 51 catches coming into the afternoon for almost 1,000 yards in receptions. And the first down with the reception marked at the Judson 38. Now, depending upon what they've called for the penalty, if it indeed is a personal foul for a late hit, we'll step off 15 in addition to that, and yes, we will. They're going to move that football all the way to the Judson 23-yard line. E.W. Rutledge can't be too pleased with that. However, perhaps just a little bit of over-exuberance on the part of David Wojcik on the play. John, you know, one thing we haven't seen so far is just a lot of pressure on uh, quarterback Odom, and I think that's something Judson's going to have to come up with. It's one of the keys we talked about at the top of the broadcast is they definitely have to put pressure on Odom. It has not been there thus far. First and 10 from the Judson 23. Lampkin with the football inside the 20, maybe to the 19-yard line, and the forward wall will stop him there. In defense, 66, Kevin Love. Also, Whitney Baker down underneath everything for the Rockets. The ball just inside the 20. Gain of four is what we'll call it. Second and a long six. Lampkin the setback. Odom on the option. We'll keep it and we'll go nowhere. Maybe a yard to the 19. Did not fool the weak side that time of the Judson defense. It was read very well by the defensive line. 64, Kevin Matul came up to help. David! 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 Okay. 73, Bruce Bryce Breitsky, the defensive tackle also on the play, read the option very well. It'll be third down and six. Great drop back for Odom. Looking for Kerry Cash. The ball is intercepted. Terry Phoenix, number 50, the defensive end, staying right with Kerry Cash, taking the football away from him in the end zone for the turnover. Tremendous play. Well, John, in this play, Terry Phoenix had Cash short with help coming deep. You see, he stayed right with him step for step. Well, it just comes a wrestling match for the ball, and Phoenix does come out with it at the very end. Great. Interception for Terry Phoenix, number 50. Again, we talked about his abilities for the ball game, just setting up here talking. He's a great ball player.